In Chapter 5 of my Fire Emblem Three Houses Crimson Flower Playthrough, I ran out of jokes. I don't have any jokes for this episode, so it's just going to be a serious episode, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Laugh at Gilbert dying to thieves? There were more nobles like you, Professor. Dorothea, I'm, I'm planning to conquer the world and I am responsible for several war crimes. Are you sure you want to... Are you sure you want there to be more nobles like me? How could a girl ever get enough? But since you arrived, it's been one thing after another. Is that just a coincidence, I wonder? No, I, I'm trying to conquer the world, Hilda. And, and so, you'll, you'll understand that I have to do a lot of stuff to conquer the world, and that means there's going to be a lot of drama. So there's not, not a lot of peace and quiet. What do you mean? I don't like the way you said that. Stop trying to spook me! What do you mean? What do I mean? I am very clear about my intentions here, Hilda. The coffin of Saros in the Holy Mausoleum should have held her remains. Instead, it held the sword of the Creator. What could it mean? Uh, well, you see... Saros is still alive, so obviously her coffin is going to be empty. Isn't it strange? Saying that Saros's body was missing from her coffin, but they found a sword in its place. That I am most likely jumping at shadows, but I fear that if Fargus is weakened, the tipped scales will lead to widespread unrest. And that is the plan. Flane, I don't think that's a fish. Fish don't bark, Flane. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a dog, actually. Why is that fish so still? Wait, is it swimming sideways? No, it's not a fish. It's a dog. Perhaps. Perhaps it is resigned to its woeful fate of being plucked from the water. What, what are you talking about? Flame that is a dog, not a fish. What are you talking about? Ah, oh, Professor, you are so outgoing with all of this. I literally students. don't say anything. Byleth has barely any voice lines in the game. What are you talking about, Flame? At the end of the month, during our mission, we are sent to exterminate Miklon, the average Twitter user who has stolen Count Gautier's Twitter account and engaged in the usual stupidity of a Twitter user. Anyway. Not bad for your kind. A bunch of spoiled, rotten children. After Miklon has been corrupted by Count Gautier's Twitter account, his outward appearance now accurately reflects his zero IQ. I decide to put him out of his misery as a rare act of kindness. 
This act of kindness, however, is not directed at Miklan, but rather the rest of the human race, as I remove Miklan from the gene pool. After this is done, instead of returning the Twitter account to Lady Rhea, I choose to confiscate it and use its mnemonic power for myself. Alright, that's going to be it for today. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, consider giving the video a like, leaving a comment, and subscribing, hitting all, all the buttons that help me. And I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.